Right, shalom. This is the GMS Faithful and True coming back at you again through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, I want to give our praise, glory, and honor and to double honor to the apostles, the elders, and bishops of Great Millstone. Peace, mercy, and grace to the household of faith, the holy elect, also known as the remnant. This lesson, we're going to do a quick in transit discussing Thomas Malthus. All right, and something also that came of him known as Malthusianism. All right, which is just yet another theory, another false science of the heathen that governs this earth, which is why we must be um, delivered from all right, this heathen captivity because these false sciences, all right, these theories that rule and govern this earth are destroying this earth and destroying the people all right, therein. And when you look at this guy, Thomas Malthus, Malthus it says on Britannica.com that he was an English economist, economist, and dem demographer. All right. So um, written by Donald Gunn McCray, fact checked by the editors of Encyclopedia Britannica, last updated June of 2023. So let's get it. All right. Thomas Malthus and full Thomas Robert Malthus, born February 13 or the 14, 1989. Nine, Salaki. February 13 or the 14th. 1766 all right near dorking Surrey, england died december 29 1834 okay he is an english econo economist and demographer who is best known for his theory that population growth will always tend to outrun food supply and that betterment of humankind is impossible without stern limits on reproduction this thinking is commonly referred to as Malthusianism. And this is the same thinking that's responsible for these uh, population reduction pr practices and, and uh, comments and theories that are spoken of, you know, by the likes of Billy, uh, Billy Boy, no Kevin Gates, if you can read between the lines, um, and others who, who have this theory of saying the same thing pretty much that the uh, population growth is getting too high and they must put a limit on population um, growth in order uh, for the resources of the earth not to run out which that don't even make sense because the scriptures tell you that the earth is made to be inhabited okay it's meant to have people on it and it the the uh, the resources don't run out let's go to Isaiah 45 and 18, for thus said the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it, he have established it, he created it not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord and there is none else. All right, he made this earth to be inhabited and the Most High doesn't know scarcity. All right, but the heathen, okay, the heathen who don't know the Most High, you know, who, the Most High is strange to them and his ways are strange to them, his people are strange to them, you know, they have... They put forth these uh, strange uh, decrees and theories out there, which is why we must be uh, delivered from them. All right, this is Psalms 144 and verse 7. It says, send thine hand from above, all right, and the hand of the Most High is going to be Yahweh Shai, his son, who's going to come from literally from above. It says, rid me and deliver me out of great waters, all right, because waters are also likened to tribulation. There's going to be a great tribulation like it was never seen in the, uh, in the earth. Uh, as it tells you in Acts 14, 22, through much tribulation, must we enter into the kingdom of heaven? It says, from the hand of strange children and the chief uh, strange child or son, because right, children goes into the Hebrew word bun, which goes into sons, um, is Esau, Edom. Okay, when you look at this word strange, all right, it's the Hebrew word nakar, which means foreign, alien, foreign is that which is foreign, foreign gods. And when you look at the heathen, they're foreigners, all right, they worship foreign gods, okay? Even if you look here, all right, it says heathendom. Let's look that up, all right, heathendom, heathen, the state of being heathen, all right, which heathen, when you really go into it, 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 it pretty much means... Uh, those that were uh, around about or, or neighbors to Israel that was outside of the land of, you know, outside of Israel. You know, traditionally, when you look at the ancient biblical maps, the, the heathen who were outside of us were Edom, Moab, Syria. Um, you had Amalek to the south, Edom to the south. You had Moab and Ammon to the east. You had Syria to the north. You had the Philistine, the Philistines, which were also uh, like southwest. Okay, so... 
Psalms 144 and 8, it says, whose mouth speak of vanity and their right hand is the right hand of falsehood. And this is all vanity here. All right. This, the, the, the idea that uh, population growth is going to outrun the food supply saying, OK, it's going to be too many people and not enough food. All right. When the earth can continuously, that's why you have a harvest season. You plant. Right. And you reap what you plant. All right. There, there's more than enough land for all the people on earth. There's more than enough sunlight. There's more than enough nutrients in the earth if you take care of the earth, if you follow the law, statutes, and commandments. You keep the land Sabbath so that the earth can yield forth good fruits and, and, and feed people, right? It says, and that betterment of humankind is impossible without stern limits on reproduction. This is, this is vanity. So you're trying to uh, limit uh, reproduction on the earth when the scripture says that, which is the first commandment in the Bible, by the way, that, that man should do what? Genesis 1 and 26. Not one and twenty six, uh, one and twenty eight. It says, "And God blessed them." We we'll started twenty seven. So God created man in His own image, and in the image of God created He him. Male and female created He them, and God blessed them. And God said unto them, "Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth, and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the ground." So the Most High blessed men and women right, men and women are supposed to be together they're supposed to come together and reproduce okay and, can, and continue to multiply and fill the earth and then men are supposed to worship the most high the women and children are supposed to follow after that 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 example all right but you have these strange children these foreigners with their foreign gods speaking wickedly are speaking vanity see it says this thinking is commonly referred to as malthusianism and this same devil is here today Right, pushing this same uh, ideolo ide ideology, all right, this strange, uh, uh, you know, false science, all right, and this is what governs the earth, all right, this is what governs the earth. Let's get additions to Eth Esther chapter 4 in the Apocrypha. I'm going to start at the top. The point is at verse 5. It says, the copy of the letters was this. The great king Antaxerxes writeth these things to the princes and governors that are under him from India unto Ethiopia in 107 and 20 provinces. After that, I became lord over many nations and had dominion over the whole world. Not lifted up with presumption of my authority, but carrying myself always with equity and mildness, I proposed to settle my subjects continually in a quiet life and making my kingdom peaceable and open for a passage to the utmost coast to renew peace, which is desire of all men. And this is when, um, during the medial uh, Persian Empire, which is uh, Elam, you know, even when Elam ruled the earth, you know, their king is saying, hey, you know, I, I, you know, I, I want peace. You know what I'm saying? He's talking about peace, but as the scripture says, that the red horse will come and take peace from the earth. So like if, the red horse will come and take peace from the earth, which that red horse goes into Esau Edom, the so-called white man. He took, he, he's, he's about uh, war, all right? Verse 3 it says, Now when I asked my counselors how this might be brought to pass, Amon or Haman, that excelled in wisdom among us and was approved for his constant goodwill and steadfast fidelity and had the honor of the second place in the kingdom, which uh, Amon or Haman was an Edomite, by the way. It says, Declared unto us that in all nations throughout the world there was a scattered and certain malicious people that had laws contrary to all nations and continuously despised the commandments of kings so as the uniting of our kingdoms honorably intended by us cannot go forward. Who who you think he's talking about here? Uh, he's talking about Israelites. He's talking about the Jews, man. All right? And um, that's what we have. That's That's the issue today. Okay, you have who we believe to be Haman coming back in the flesh. We have Vocab alone who's constantly making these accusations. And all he does is talk about Israelites. He's infatuated with the Israelites because pretty much it looked like he on the payroll. And this is his, his job was to help, help uh, Esau bring accusation and blame upon us, right? But I'm going to keep going. Verse... Uh, it says seeing then we understand that this people alone is continually in opposition unto all men differing in the strange manner of their laws see they look at us what we're doing as strange and what we're the laws that and customs that we acknowledge and keep they, they look at that as being strange and foreign unto them right because our god is foreign unto them it says an evil affected to our state working all the mischief 
they can that our kingdom may not be firmly established. And that's what we're doing now. We're working in a spiritual sense. All right, we're, we're chanting down the establishment of this wicked kingdom based upon these wicked philosophies and theories. You should understand? You see, this is wicked. All right, this is, this is off. All right, and the heathen can and will and must be stopped. All right, so I just wanted to do a little quick uh, you know, video discussing that. Lord willing, was that a fine? To the next one, Shalom.